Okay, I'm going to take a f couple of minutes here to talk about the liver and bitter connection. I have been experiencing some problems and I need to uh, take another look at bitters. I've had good experience with them in the past, but they shouldn't be taken every day. A um, little history, like for personal reference the past week and a half, I started noticing like a weird degenerative feeling throughout my body. I mean, I, I don't, I, I like to kind of ignore some things, and I did. What the first thing was is to start out with a like pain in my molar when I bit down, say in a chicken bone or something. I had had the experience that a couple of years ago, but um, it resolved itself. Uh, but it came back. Um, there's that sensitivity. Um, and I, I just I thought maybe if I increased calcium or something, but uh, it just, it's, it's still, it's still kind of sensitive. Um, my liver, about five days ago, started getting kind of a tight feeling. I kind of ignored that. Um, then my heart just got this uh, this faintness feeling, like if I tried to exercise, I would pass out or something. So it's, it's been a degenerative problem, maybe for the past couple of weeks. That I need uh, that, that just um, when I got to the problem with my my heart feeling funny, that's when I decided to really look into this. Um, and reading on Chinese medicine, it talks about how the liver, when it gets congested, can affect the heart. So I need to do some strengthening on my liver. And I'll admit, I've had problems. I recently moved a month ago, and I was sprouting wheat grass at the old place. And I haven't really gotten around to it at this new place as well. At least it's not as successful. Uh, yeah, right there. It doesn't look the best. And it could be the sun. I kind of want to blame the water. It's hard to say exactly. But it's not in good shape. I'm giving it another try. I don't have much hope, but I'm gonna maybe see if that can help. But I was eating a lot of wheatgrass. I, I was like protecting my liver because I, I don't recall having any problems like this. I haven't had any tightness in my liver for a long time before I moved here. So I think the greens have been told many times Chinese medicine from acupuncturists that greens are what feed liver. And I don't think I've had much for greens the past month or so, so that could be a factor. Um, so that's and bitters, um, hops, and blessed thistle are two I'm gonna focus on, but I'm not gonna take them every day. Once a week tops. I abused them in the past thinking I could take them every day and I've had problems with that so what I want to do is bring them back in but reduce the amount and frequency so I don't overstimulate just want to take them for therapeutic uses so see how it goes I know it's done some good in the past, but I've abused it, overtaken it, and I think I've hurt my stomach. So, um, I don't think the initial taking it hurts, but then after that, two to three days after taking it every day as a tea form, I, I started experiencing problems. So, I'm um, just... They're not perfect, 
Uh, but let's just see if they can once again uh, overcome this liver problem. I had lettuce yesterday, it seemed to um, resolve a little bit of the tightness in my liver area, so that was nice. But I don't have any bitters because I threw them all out. So I need to get more of those and see how that works. But there's a connection. If you read on the internet, there's a bitter talk about how bitters can help quell a liver fire, which liver affects the heart. If you have heart problems, you have to look at other things as a holistic measure. The liver can get congested. All the heart is there for is to pump blood. And if there's congestion because there's an accumulation of sludge, if your blood is not as clean as it should be, then you want to look into cleaning it better. And the focus in Chinese medicine a lot of times tends to be on the liver. That is like number two, the number two organ behind the heart, uh, which is interesting. Um, so if you are sluggish, yeah, the liver is something to really focus on and what helps the liver are greens and bitters. Just have to remind <laughs> myself and on YouTube when I get problems like this. So thank you for listening.